Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a mommy YouTuber from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So if you're here for the first time, if you're seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming to my video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, if you are an OG, a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad you enjoyed my videos enough to come back anyway whether you enjoy it or not thank you for coming back <laughs> so as usual i'm trying to film with daylight and it keeps going dark and bright that's because the um when water cause rain falls all the time so the weather is dark so anyhow shy once the thing just changes just ignore it as long as you can see my face we're good to go okay so Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me video. It's been a while since I did one of these and I think it's only one I've done on this channel. So today I was like, let me just do my makeup and chat with you guys. Tomorrow is actually Sunday and I got a new hair from AliExpress. It's from Samba Hair. I wore it in my last video. So I curled it to see how it's going to look. So I want to... Yeah, that's the hair. I just curled it. So I want to see how it will look because tomorrow is Sunday. I go to West Church tomorrow. So I want to see how it will look today, not tomorrow when I bring down the curls to look like this. <laughs> but the hair is really, really very good. See, if you are sleeping on AliExpress brands, you need to wake up. Seriously. AliExpress hair, brands like this, their hair is very, very good. Also very affordable. I got 18... 20 and 22 inches and 18 inch closure so that's the hair i had in my former in my last video is the body wave very beautiful hair so i just called it now to you know change up my look that's another way to save money okay change up your look just curl the hair it look a different way flat uh, flat iron it make it straight to look a different way okay so stop looking for expensive hair it's not by it's not by it's not by brand name it's not by being expensive all these hairs and most of these people still go to all these vendors that we bought from now most of them still go there to buy hair come back to nigeria repackage it and send it to you sell it to you at outrageous prices and you buy because of the brand but it's the same thing if not if it does if so it's not even better let me just start doing my makeup i said i'm going to do my makeup and i'm already i've already started talking too much okay you guys i've been doing a bit of skincare lately not a bit a lot actually i've been i've been trying to be more consistent with exfoliating and um other stuff and i'm beginning to see a difference in my skin i don't know if you guys can see but me i'm beginning to see a difference so i'm trying to just keep it up i don't do much i just do one of everything like i don't really do i don't do different serums different i just have one serum one uh, chemical uh, chemical peel exfoliator um and all that you know one sunscreen one facial oil i went ahead to do my foundation off camera i was trying to talk about my foundation and i was just doing nonsense here so i just said you know what let me pause the video first and do my foundation and then continue i don't know it looks like it matches oh it's a little, it's a little bit too yellow but the match is okay anyway so in this video i'm going to be talking about things i learned after getting married after getting married for those of you who don't know i actually got married early so these are things that i've learned in the past eight years of being married like things that i didn't know before i got married and let me just put this out there if you're one of those people that feel oh everything is now about marriage every time you're talking about marriage can't you guys rest marriage marriage is marriage that can't people rest see you saw the title of this video before you clicked right i'm sure you saw the title and i'm sure marriage is part of the reason why you clicked this video <laughs> i'm sure if i have put title of video how to adjust shutter speed of your canon this 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 or how to make one thing or the other you will not click okay i have videos like that i have talking about how to make money you will not open it <laughs> and yes i have videos like that i'm going to make one about how to make money or how to save money or i have videos like that on this channel and they have some of the least views okay so don't come for me that marriage is marriage that you saw the title before you clicked okay yeah so that's it so i'm talking about things that i learned in my there's this thing that has been going on uh diana reacted to jackie aina's video on early marriage and stuff like that and girl is like it's like uh, what's her name diana just opened up <laughs> opened up a portal for for animosity and haters like i was like jeez I even filmed a reaction video that to tell you how serious the thing was. I filmed the reaction video to her video. 
But when I was at this individual, I just said, what am I even killing myself for? Like, like who am I even trying to argue with? Or who am I trying to convince otherwise? Like, do you, boo, do you, whatever you think. If you feel early marriage is not for you, fine. If you feel late marriage is not for you, fine. Okay, if you feel marriage is not for you at all, fine. Why am I trying to come here and start telling people, no, what she meant is this. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. But I'm just going to say one thing. Don't be a hypocrite, okay? Don't be a hypocrite. If you come online to say this, you better make sure this is your reality, okay? Don't go to bed at night sleep crying. Don't don't cry yourself to sleep at night and then come out the time and be saying the opposite. Whatever side of the argument you fall on, okay? Make sure your argument is consistent with your reality, is consistent with what you really think and believe behind closed doors, behind the camera, behind the behind the, the, the computer, okay? So don't say one thing deceive people online and then go and say and then at home you are crying, you are begging, you are, you are hoping and wishing things were different for you because now that people are very very hypocritical like I say sometimes the internet is like a it's like an alternative universe okay things that happen on the internet sometimes it's opposite or does not even apply to how things happen in real life so that's all I'm going to say about Diana's video so things that I learned after I got married for those who don't know I actually got married at 22 plus like I was 22 when I did my intro and then I just turned 23 when I thought okay I think I, I did my wedding some months like three months four months after I turned 23 so yeah so it don't take okay this is like <laughs> this we're going to celebrate our nine or is it eight years today this year yeah so it's going to be eight years this December one thing that I have learned about marriage things don't always go as planned okay things don't always go as planned for many of you who don't know I actually um, battled infertility for four good years before I had my children. It wasn't what I planned at all. In fact, I was trying to prevent pregnancy at first, thinking that it would happen just like that. It didn't work that way. So, because of that, so my point basically is that since things don't go as planned and you know that things can change, marry with sense. Marry with sense. What did I say? Draw your ear and <laughs> repeat after me. Marry with sense. When I married my husband, I didn't marry him based on how he makes me feel, how this and that. I married him based on common sense. Like I did calculation. Calculation. <laughs> when I was when I agreed to marry him, I actually did a lot of calculation. Okay? Things don't go according to plan. So marry someone that you know that worst case scenario, I can still tolerate this person okay this thing i'm saying might sound like a no-brainer might sound like common sense but some people don't marry like that things don't go according to plan if you marry because of money what if the guy loses the money tomorrow what are you going to do so all i'm just trying to say is marry someone that you know that if all else fails at least you and that person can live together in peace and harmony and what guarantees that you guys can live together in peace and harmony it is those core values that you both hold as human those core values your spiritual life your outlook to life, your stance on some really important matters, okay? Really, really important matters are the things you should consider when, when choosing a spouse or a husband or a wife. And also, at the same time, don't refuse to marry someone because of flimsy things. He's okay, he's God fearing, he's, uh, he has, he's positive, he's hard working, I know all that, but he snores, or but um, he doesn't know how to dress. All those kind of stupid things. If you do that, you're just going to leave your husband and go and marry someone else's husband, and both of you will be angry. <laughs> things also change for good. When I met my husband, and I know he's going to watch this video, I don't know why I'm even whispering. But when I met my husband <laughs> and how he looks now, the difference is night and day. Like the difference is night and day. Some of those things I myself changed them in him. While some of those some of those things naturally he changed and became better with them okay so if i had not married him then because oh he wasn't so fashionable he wasn't so this my dear by now that fashion that's what people don't know you want to marry someone because the person is fashionable you want to marry someone because that that fashion one day will start annoying you okay i rambled too much on this point yeah i need to do my eyebrows i don't know people that do get ready with me i don't know how they do it because i feel like i'm blabbing i'm talking too much i'm doing very little my second point another thing that i discovered after marriage the first one is not really after marriage that I discovered it. I kind of knew before I got married. But when things started unfolding in my marriage, I was like, wow, thank God I didn't marry for superficial reasons. 
okay when things are unfolding things are getting better things are changing and i think i did mine for special reasons so hey if not by now i would have been crying crying on the internet that marrying ellie is 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 uh, is, <laughs> is bad <laughs> i would have been crying on the internet that marrying ellie is a killer meanwhile now me no use common sense marry now that i finished doing all the hard work now i'm telling me ah you are so lucky man man where did you find your husband from i found you where they used to find where haven't place to find their own <laughs> I found him. It's just that some of you walk up past. So you know how when you go to Okrika and they are doing uh, select and pay, select and pay, select and pay. You might just see one top because it's, it's squeezed and wrinkled. You will pass. And that person will pick it, go home, wash it with, with warm water, iron it, spray perfume on his beard, and you'll be like, wow, where did you get this your top from? So, yeah. Another thing that I realized after marriage is that your husband your spouse let me say husband sha, but your spouse actually becomes your family member like you know when you're marrying someone eh, your mind doesn't really go to the fact that this person is now like your new reality so your your spouse becomes your family member do you know i didn't really i didn't really think of it that way like i knew that yes i'm getting married i'm moving to my husband's house i'm taking his name you know i'm taking his name and taking but now eight years into the marriage I somehow cannot even picture my life without my husband like I can't really picture how my life would have been or how my life was before my husband I think he's not like a, you know how you know your sister you know your mom you know your dad that's the same way I know my husband I know my kids in fact my kids are more strangers to me than my husband is like my husband is like my my <laughs> my brother or something in a good way in a good way not in a stupid way in a good way like I'm so fond of him now that can't even imagine how my life was without him so yeah that is another reason why you should marry with sense because if you don't marry with sense you are stuck you are stuck and the thing is no matter how people want to say marriage does not define someone marriage does not define you this one that one this one that one my dear if you marry somebody it is forever and ever a part of your life even if you divorce the person it's part of your story, it's part of your life, no matter how you want to say it, it doesn't define me, it doesn't... <laughs> it is part of your story, it will come up one way or the other for the rest of your life. Whether I'm still with the person or not, the truth is that once you say I do to somebody, it becomes part of your story, it becomes part of your life. So, choose with sense, don't rush into anything because other people are doing it. Choose with sense, okay? Don't marry because you want children. Don't don't marry or don't go and be with the wrong person because you want children because you are stuck. In fact, when you want to have children, that makes it even worse. You are even more stuck than you were before. It's so another thing I discovered about marriage too is that your deal breakers can actually change. Now, I'm not saying it because my deal breakers personally have changed. They've not really changed. Like nothing has happened that I said that I said was a deal breaker and and, and I'm tolerating now or something. I'm not to explain this, yeah. But I'm saying it because when i see some stories on the internet i now sympathize or empathize more with some women because i know that like living a marriage things that will make you live a marriage is easier when you're not yet married it's easier when you're single to say if this happens to me i'm just going to up and leave my dear when you actually get married a lot of things change a lot of things start happening that you either get really powerless to, to change them or you you get stuck kind of so understand why some women are stuck like i said earlier now my husband is like my family member i can't really i can't really imagine my life without him god forbid if anything happens today to make us break up it will be really devastating for me do you understand so some women actually stay in situations because of how devastating it would be for them to be out of those situations even though the situations are not, even the situations are not favorable to them when they think of the alternative it actually sounds really terrible too do you understand so at the end of the day i don't really blame women who said they won't tolerate something and now they're tolerating it or women who tolerate things that in your mind they're like why should she tolerate this if it was me if it was i if it were me if it were i see my dear who no go no no who no go no no so just empathize with people don't compromise your values but also empathize with people is what i'm trying to say okay i'm done with my makeup i don't know how I don't know what how to rate how I look. I feel I look good, Shai. So that I'm not used to putting lashes, so <laughs> I feel like I look wicked. 
I'm not used to putting lashes and I tried. This is my first time putting lashes on myself by myself. I feel good. So I'm doing my makeup now, so I'm just going to remove the bendy rollers from the hair and then I'll put the hair on my head and see how it looks. I think I'm going to brush out the coils. I really don't want it to be very tightly coiled. I called it yesterday. So I'm just going to brush out the coils today. Anyway, so another thing that I've learned um Sorry, if my hands are down, if I'm doing something else because I'm removing the curls, the Benji rollers. So another thing I've learned, wow, this hair is not really dry, yo. This hair is not really dry, it's kind of cold. Anyway, let's just see. Another thing I've learned in marriage is that things don't really change, you only change. That's your things that you expect your spouse, your spouse to change. Maybe, oh, I've been complaining about these things for the past five years, why have you not changed? See, let me tell you the secrets to giving yourself peace, okay? The secret is this change how you view those things those things you call problems those things you call um that you think that your spouse is being difficult i'm not talking about the main serious issues oh please i'm not talking about serious issues i'm talking about cultural differences and uh, behavioral differences difference in temperaments and stuff like that and i are hoping that your husband can change or your wife can change for me the best thing for you to do is just accept those things naturally self naturally actually you actually learn to accept those things i think with time like a lot of things that i i i don't complain about i don't complain about a lot of things now meanwhile when i first got married they were like oh my god i can't do this anymore i can't cope with this but those are the things that right now they happen and i'm like nah what else like i've gotten so used to some of those things that i don't see them as a problem anymore and guess what they really are not a problem like Anyway, I think when you are, when you are, when if you've not yet experienced it or if you're not yet married for a long time, especially if you're in your first few years of marriage, there are so many things that you are like, why did I marry this man? Are you sure that I can really cope with this thing? This, that, this, that, my dear, you will cope, over cope, self. How did your mother cope with your father? That, that's the same way you cope. The way your grandfather cope, your grandmother copes with your grandfather, that's the same way you cope. Don't think that when you leave your wife and go to another one, that uh, it will be better or when you leave your husband and go to another person it will be dead that everybody has their own issues oh okay no matter who it is every marriage has its issues everybody has their own issues and that's another thing that brings me to another point and that point is do not envy another person's relationship or another person's marriage i remember there when i was in in, in uni no not uni when i first got a job so we were in the training school and i had this issue with my roommate we had an issue we we're just quarreling about something something flimsy and next thing she said is you are married i expect you to know better along the lines of you're married so you're expected to be the bigger person i was like my dear <laughs> when she said that one it's just this guy 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 in my head i said my dear the way you have your boyfriend is the way i have my husband okay none of them is above each other the only difference is that me and my husband went to church and people came to eat our rice and we have signed document that we are married there is really no difference between a person that is married and a person that is not married okay if you don't have sense marriage will not impute sense in you okay it's you that will give yourself sense by yourself it's not like marriage has one or all that as we came to eat your rice now sense has been automatically bestowed on you or as pastor blessed your marriage then sense has automatically come it, it does not work that way okay so don't look at somebody and say ah how can a married man be doing that or how can a married woman be doing that my dear marriage has nothing to do with it people are people people will behave the way that they're going to behave irrespective of whether they are married or they are not okay so don't look at me and say oh she's married so she's supposed to know better or her ah, people that are married their own is better nobody's own is better my dear the grass is greener on the other side nobody's own is better do not look at someone else and think because the person is married or because of who the person is married to or because of what happens in the person's marriage the person is better off okay nobody's better off we're all out here struggling we're all out here trying to make heaven we're all out here trying to make money we are all out here trying to stay happy, okay? So nobody else, nobody is better off. So yeah, that's just my point. Anyway, <laughs> I remember one time on Big Brother, I sat online. I, I didn't really uh, witness this when it happened. They said Tatcha insulted Mike. You know, Mike is the married guy in Big Brother. They said Tatcha insulted Mike, and people were like, "Doesn't she know that he's a married man?" And I was like, "Please, please." 
I'm not saying that she should be insulted. I, I'm not. I don't condone being insulted or being disrespectful. But don't say, please respect him because he's a married man, my dear. Respect everybody. Respect him because he's a human being. Okay. Respect him because he's a human being. All this unnecessary. Uh, uh, respect, honestly, I don't know. Respect and pressure people are putting on, on, on us married people, please. Okay, stop putting pressure on us. <laughs> it's actually pressure for you to think that because we are married, we're supposed to be behaving uh, in a certain way. Please, it's pressure. Don't put it on us, please. I started rambling now, but whatever, man. Oh, wow, look at the hair. Woo, so beautiful. <laughs> and this thing is not dry, yo. Chai, imagine if it was dry. It's not really dry, although I really don't want it to dry so that the curls will not be too tight. If I let me just use pull my fingers through it. Ooh, 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 it's beautiful. Let me just comb this front, the closure part. I can't this should be on my head. I'm not going to wear a, a wig cap now because should I just center center outside pattern? Let me do side. I'm not going to wear a wig cap now because I'm not going anywhere, I'm just going to remove it. Well, let me see how it will look. Wow, this hair is so beautiful. And the hair is so soft, like you guys, seriously. I'm going to leave a link to this hair on in the description box. Wow, this hair is beautiful. <laughs> and it's not dry, you. Although it's partially dry, it's not like it's wet, wet. It's not, it's not wet, but it's not dry, and it looks so beautiful. See how my fingers are just going through. Wow! I knew the hair was good anyway. From the way it was when it was straight, I knew it was good hair. But now that I've curled it like this and I'm straightening it out, it looks so good. Tomorrow I'll most likely use a brush to down brush it out very well it's so bouncy so lush so beautiful i keep looking at myself in the viewfinder please i'm allowed to look at myself today oh? it's not every time it's not every time that i used to look like this <laughs> anyway so let me just wrap this video up i i've been chatting too much all i just wanted to say in this video i just wanted to bring out some points that have been going through my head i've been crossing my mind most times I don't, I keep touching this hair. Most times I don't judge them, maybe I should be judging them down because a lot of, I see a lot of clownery, clownery on the internet. And also things that I started thinking about now, like I'm going to be eight years in marriage this year and I love the person that I marry. Like I really married someone who is good for me, okay? I married someone who is good for me. It might not be good for you, it might not be good for any other person out there. That's their business, okay? But I married someone who is good for me. So, when you are going to marry somebody, ask yourself if I were to choose my family member, if God had said, Ada, before I send you down to earth, look around the earth and choose a family to enter based on the people that are in that family, would I choose my husband? Would I choose him as a family member? Okay, that's how I see it. So, that kind of questions you should ask yourselves because after all else fails, okay, and trust me, this marriage thing, the mushy feeling, all those. Uh, butterflies in your tummy they don't last forever but you see that thing called love genuine love it actually does not go anywhere okay it actually does not go anywhere because even while we quarrel or while we have issues or while things don't go as planned I don't want to do it with anybody else I like who I'm going through those issues with because if it was someone else that I was going through those issues with I would have been long gone I would have left you on that journey journey to the unknown yourself okay so yeah so that's it that's that's how I, I interpret love okay even when we quarrel okay we still call ourselves baby I don't want to know his real name we still call ourselves baby his baby this baby that baby what you're saying does not make sense baby what you're saying baby you're annoying me right now baby leave me alone it's still baby okay that's how I feel love should be so guys, I've talked too much. I love this hair. I've been looking at myself, Loki, Loki, Loki. Like I love this hair. Even when it straightens, whenever it straightens, I'll still quietly it again because I think I like it this way. Although I'll still go back to them. I need to buy very sleek, straight, bone straight, very long hair, like 30 inches. So I think I'll get from them. If I do get from them, I'm going to show you guys how how the hair turns out. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please okay 
and i'll see you all in my next video bye